I am sorry that I have been MIA for a couple months. I've been a little busy. So this video, I'm going to explain my birth story, everything that happened, and introduce you to my baby. He is sleeping right now, um, but this is Cooper. And yeah, let's just get get going. So at 30, seven weeks. I went in for my 37 week appointment and they told me they did, um, ultrasound and they told me that he was breached. And they told me that, you know, if he doesn't, if he doesn't flip in a week at my next appointment, then we had two options. We could either do a C-section or I could come in and they could try to flip him and it was like a 50 50 if i was gonna have a c-section or if he was actually gonna flip and i thought about it and i was like you know what let's just do the c-section because the other option could just end up in a c-section anyway i'd rather just knowing go in knowing what's gonna happen and what's like let's just do the c-section and the doctor was like wow you're really calm about this and i was like it, I figured it could be an option. So, you know, whatever. Um, I was a little bit upset about it, but there's pros and cons, you know, I, it's fine. So next week comes, he's still breached. So that she's like, we're doing the C-section. She, uh, was like, we'll do the C-section at 39 weeks. So we don't risk you going into labor. And I was like, perf. So go in, schedule the C-section. Um, he it was scheduled for March 28th. Uh, we go in and, you know, go in. I'm like, hey, I'm here to have a baby. <laughs> and they go put me in a pre-op room where they, you know, check everything, give me some IV fluids, do all that stuff. And I was pretty calm. I was like, okay, I got this. Um, they checked my blood pressure and they were like, do you have high blood pressure? I was like, no, but I might be more nervous than I thought. Um, so then they take me from the pre-op pre room to the operating room, which was terrifying. You, I walk in and there's like 20 doctors and nurses. And I was like, oh my goodness. And they were like, Josh, they made Josh wait out in the hallway and they're like, we'll come get you when we're ready. And uh, I was like, oh, great. So um, I sit on that little freaking cold metal bench and they're like, okay, we're gonna stab your spine. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, we're gonna stab your spine. Stay still, don't move or you could get paralyzed. And I was like, this is the one thing that I want my husband here for, but okay. Um, luckily there was a nurse that was like holding my hand and like rubbing my back telling me it was okay. But that was the worst part of it because I was by myself. They make you like bend over with your big belly. And I was like, it was not comfortable. Um, so then, yeah, they do that. And then they lay me down and they're like, okay, we got to check to make sure you're numb. Like apparently they were like poking me and stuff. And he takes this like the, the um, anesthesiologist was not very comforting. I'll say that. He um, was like, okay, I'm gonna like poke you with this metal thing on your stomach. Like you can feel it, but it doesn't hurt, right? And I was like, yeah. And then he comes up here and he was like, this is what it feels like. And he poked me with it. I was like, ow! I was like, ow, that hurt. And he was like, well, you know, you're not, you're numb down there. And I was like, okay. Um, and then finally, they get all set up and everything and they bring Josh in. And I was like, thank God. And he told me he was freaking out in the hallway because he was like, this is taking forever. Are they doing this without me? Um, so I was just like, you know, arms out. Was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I could feel like, you know, you could feel the pressure of everything. And I was just like, this is the weirdest feeling ever. And I was like getting really sleepy. I think it was just because like, so much was happening and I don't know if it's it medicine they gave me I don't know but I was getting really sleepy and I was just like 
laying there like breathing, trying to keep breathing and like closing my eyes. I was like, okay, I got this. And then I heard the cry. I heard him cry and I started crying. And I was like, oh my God, I, there's a baby. That's my baby. And, um, you know, they tell, they let Josh like take pictures as they pulled him out and stuff. I would show you picture those pictures, but they're kind of gross and they would get taken down. So let's not do that. Um, but I was like, oh my God, that's my baby. I haven't seen him yet, but Josh is telling me, you know, he's perfect and he looks so good and all this. They, you know, weigh him, wash him off, do all the things they do. They tell us he is six pounds, six ounces. 17 inches long or was it 17 and a half I don't remember but um they get him all cleaned up and then they give him to Josh and Josh brings him over to me and I was like he is perfect here I will insert a picture here of me seeing him for the first time I was like I was crying Josh was crying the baby was crying it was, it was surreal. I was like, that is my baby. He was in my belly and now like he's here. That's my baby. And immediately, like I know so many babies come out looking like aliens. He was the cutest little baby out of the womb. He also was talking straight out of the womb. Like they, like once he stopped crying, he was just like cooing and like making noises. And I was like, wow, he's a talker just like his mom. <laughs> Oh, did you spit off on me? That's great. So they bring me to the post op room, and um, I, he immediately latched on and started breastfeeding. And I was like, perfect, no issues there. That's great. Um, and then they were like checking him, checking me, and my temperature dropped really low. So they were like, okay, give baby to dad and we're gonna have to try to warm me up they put warm blankets on me they put the bear hugger on me trying to warm me up and everything and then once they finally got me warmed up they took me to the like postpartum room I guess took me to my room and then my parents came up and saw him my brothers came up and saw him Josh's parents came up and saw him so that was great Great. Um, let's try to get through this without that going off and scout, scout uh, barking. So, I'm gonna take you to the post, you know, postpartum room, and we were there for three days. We got there on Tuesday and we left on Friday. Um, and they wanted me to leave on Thursday, and I was like. I'd rather stay another day. And they were like, you can't, you're good. So, um, we left on Friday. Everything in the hospital was great. He did great with everything. He was the chillest baby in the hospital. They did all the tests on him. He just like slept through everything. Uh, I had to wake him up to eat. Um, he did great. Me, not so much. I was in a lot of pain. I, uh, but we got through it. We came home. Um, my mom stayed with me for about a week, just helping out with everything, and now we're here. So, he is now eight weeks old. He turned eight weeks old yesterday. He will be um, two months old. My watch is on upside down. He'll be two months old on the 28th. It's the 24th right now. So, in four days, he'll be two months old. I cannot believe it. But, yeah, I will insert here some pictures he's sleeping right now so I don't want to disturb him but I'll insert some pictures here of everything and that that's it I guess that's how I had a baby